Hey guys, this is Maxwell7910 and today I'm going to show you how to create the future rave reverb. So here I have a lead I created, let's listen to it. Uh, the most important thing about creating the future rave reverb is compression. So what I did here in the reverb bus is add a long decay for this reverb. These are the settings, you can copy them. I then added an OTT uh, just to thicken it up. It's not really necessary, I haven't seen other producers do it, but I just did it for just for the sake of it. I then EQ'd the reverb, and then, this is the most important part, the compression. I personally like the, the Pro C2 plugin because it has a really clean sidechain algorithm. So what's important here in this compressor are the attack and release buttons, as well as threshold and the knee. But in my opinion, release is the most important part here. If the release knob is higher, it means then the reverb signal will then take longer till it comes back. If I was supposed to play now how it is. You can hear it takes some time till the reverb like comes in, as if it had a pre-delay. If we make it shorter, it sounds like this. Notice how it gets a little bit too muddy and it creates these artifacts. So it's important that we have a long release time on here as well as a pretty moderate long attack time. On the main lead I have a reverb with these settings. Not only just to give it a bit of atmosphere on the lead itself, but also to create these reverb fills. Notice also that the reverb which I added on my lead channel is before the OTT or before the compressor. If you want to know more tips and tricks or creative tutorial ideas, let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.